Oh, Raul, thank you so much, buddy. Absolutely brilliant there. Great to connect with some amazing people. We're going to continue to do that right now and show just how creative you are with our hashtag uh, Clover or Love Clover Challenge. Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover. So if there's one satisfying dessert that will never, ever go out of style, it has to be a creamy, zingy, yummy tart. The more lemon, the better for me. Firm favorite from the hashtag Love Clover competition. So today, we're going to make a cremel tart, courtesy of the genius that is Lausanne Julius. Lausanne, I hope you're watching right now. She shared her delicious recipe with us, and we're going to share that with you right now. She had a whole lot of inspiration and some tips for us on how to make it. I'm Lizanne Chilius and I'm from Belhar in Cape Town. So today I'll be talking about my clover cremel tart. What inspired me to make the tart is that my family at home, they absolutely loved the tart. So today I just want to give you a few tips of making the tart. So you can use, if you don't have any lemons, you can always use a, a true lemon juice or any lemon juice that you have you can decorate it with anything that you like for instance you can use strawberries you can use blueberries and if you feel like a pineapple flavor you can always throw in some crushed pineapples just to give you that pineapple flavor and then another tip about the tart is that when you make it and you want to, and it's a very hot summer day, you can always freeze it and enjoy it like an ice cream. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the tart. Oh, Lausanne, you are a genius. One tart with a thousand different ways of enjoying it. Like that, that um, idea of ice cream on a, on a hot day. But of course, it's not that hot at the moment, so we're going to enjoy it as a beautiful tart. Uh, next, uh, welcome back. This um, looks cool. This looks zingy, it looks tasty, this looks like everything you want out of a tart um, and very creative as well. So well done, uh, Lazan. Um, let's see if we can replicate what she created. Well, I hope that I can do her tart justice. I made this one yesterday and I let it set in the fridge overnight. So I was very, when I made it, I was very impressed with her. She used, I think, one, two, three Clover products. Well done. Instead of uh, one, so well done to you. Hashtag love Clover yeah. indeed. So we, so she adds her, she adds 800 grams of the cremal into, like into a pot or into your bowl. I'm going to use my knife. Yeah. Uh, you just denied <laughs> us an opportunity to have cremal. All over. all over, oh my like gosh. Then on. how am I going to make this tart? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to start scooping and scraping it off the counter. Okay, so you just add this into a bowl. Then she adds a tin of condensed milk, which I'm going to do now. I found that it was like quite thick at first. I was like, gee, how is this going to come together? Okay. But it does. It really does. So beautifully. I was, I was very She's impressed. done her homework. She's done the job. She is. This must be like a family favorite recipe. So we're just going to add our beautiful condensed, condensed milk. milk. And then she mentioned that, you know, she adds the lemon juice, but you can add any other fruit she had mentioned strawberries crushed pineapple and mm, i can 100 like percent see pineapple yeah yeah crushed pineapple i would add it with the syrup um all in here but if you're going to add the strawberries i'd maybe just layer it that could be quite Ooh, nice nice uh, but for me lemon is, is the way to go lemon oh, exactly love it so we've got Zingy, four delicious okay four lemons grams you know it's so super zingy here so i'm actually going to use our beautiful beta for this because this took quite a lot of elbow grease yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad I got the machine today. <laughs> I'm glad you did a test run before this, so you can iron out the kick. Exactly. Yeah, I see what you mean. It does start out quite thick here. It does. But as you can see, it's coming together. Oh, nice. So it's 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 almost like a this is where your base would be for your tart, like this is where you would add your different flavors. You could add vanilla, you could add um, a little bit of cinnamon at this point, anything really, oh, which is very nice and versatile. So you're gonna do that. Then I've whipped one cup of cream. Okay. And this is where it's gonna aerate it a bit. Oh, nice. Okay. And then you fold it in. So super simple and easy. It all just comes together. And um, 
it was as simple as that. And it's it almost reminds me of a lemon meringue, Graham. Like, I was going to say yeah. that something kind of, um, you know, obviously the lemon no flavour notes are, are amazing, but there's something quite dramatic about this kind of combination. It's sweet, but you're going to get the zing. Yes, you could... creamy. Exactly. It's super, super creamy. It's like, it's, it's almost like fudge. <laughs> it's amazing. So you just whip this up all together like I've done right here. And that you're going to put aside. And then you're going to take a pack of your biscuits. I, she recommended the tennis biscuits. So for mm. when you're crushing it at home, take a bag and a rolling pin and just knock it. Take out your frustrations. All that so, lockdown yeah. frustrations. Take it out on this. <laughs> I think that's quite nice as well because there is quite like a, a toasty. The coconut um, note there is, is really nice in the biscuits. But there's like a toastiness, almost like, a, like a, a, a buttery toastiness that I think will work really nice. Exactly. So she says you can add a little bit of water to press it down. You can also add melted butter. Okay, to actually, create a bit more of a dense base. Okay, yeah, yeah, but I actually like the little bit of a looser thing because it would add a little more texture. So that's what, what I went okay. with today. And then you're going to take your beautiful mixture. I use the big bowl because it, it you really it makes a lot, guys. Yeah. It really does. Just to feed the family. This is not just to, well, I suppose you could. Yeah, you can always half the recipe, you know? Half the recipe. Or just leave a just... little bit over for you to just eat directly out the bowl. Uh... Exactly. So you're just going to add that on top of your biscuits. Then I let it sit in the fridge. Um, you could possibly eat this straight away, but I would so, prefer to sit. It's like, is it a truffle? Is it a tart? Is it a pie? It's a beautiful it a tart. Dessert? I would say it's a just tart. amazing. Yeah, so that's it. And you're going to add a little bit of more of your crumb on the top, just to give it a bit of a decor nice decoration here. Cool. And I hope that Tabiso has his spoon ready because uh, I know with vibe. him and dessert, he is like super crazy over it. So I guess this one's just going to have to be for him. Hope you're ready, son. He's <laughs> <laughs> got a very big spoon there. <laughs> Cool, and that's it, Graham. That is so, so easy, Lazan. You are a genius. You've given us something absolutely amazing, and I could tell how much Nicole's enjoyed making this. Um, she made one last night, and she ate, ate half of it. Half of it. Um, <laughs> which is, is your right as the person creating something so delicious. But there it is. It's zingy, it's light, um, it's got bucket loads of flavour. Um, I love the lemon kind Addition, of angle, yeah. yeah, but uh, you can take it in a, any direction that you want. As Lausanne said, uh, some crushed pineapple might be amazing, some st fresh strawberries, um, or you can even freeze it and have it as an ice cream. But uh, pop it in the fridge, let it set and enjoy. Um, absolutely amazing stuff. Hashtag love clover indeed. So hopefully that's going to inspire you to show us a little bit of love in the kitchen. Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover.